Do I have a sign of cancer? Hello and welcome to my channel. There's going to, just, there's going to be a situation that's... Um, it will feel like there's some unhealthy clinging. You know, this could go into July. But this is a uh, reading for the second week of June. So just remember the, it, the um, time can be fluid. So it could go a little bit above the second week of June or it could go way below the second week of June. But yeah, somebody is clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Or you could be doing this to someone. And if it's not a person, it's a situation where there's some just some, some unhealthy unhealthy grasping. Just holding on too tight in a very unhealthy way. So let's get into the reading. Let's see what's going on with that. So for the present time, we got the Four of Pentacles and it's paired with the Star card. The Four of Pentacles, it's a card about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than it's healthy or realistic. So when this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. It's about anxiety, it's about fear. It could be about money and or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. The key is to realize that being anxious and grasping, it will not bring security. And it's paired with a star card. So the star card, it's about finding yourself feeling real inspired. And you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a long time. You'll also feel more confident. Confident that your needs are being met, whether it's financial or emotional, or it could be both with the star here. They're being met, those needs. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but it's unlikely that your confidence is going to be misplaced. And this is also a spiritual card. It can be. And you could find that you're feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling, so make sure you savor it. So basically, coming up for the present time, like I said, there's some unhealthy clinging here. You could be doing this to someone, someone doing this to you, could be your person, or it could just be a situation. Um, but just with the star card, so it looks like things turn around for the better because there's, with the star card, there's renewal, there's inner clarity that's found. All of a sudden, there's hope. And then there's, it feels like miracles are happening. <laughs> Yeah, the star card is a beautiful card in the tarot. Yeah. You're rejuvenated. Very hopeful. you got a lot of faith. Any grief of the past is released. So I'm picking up that this unhealthy energy is... It, it looks like it could take a change for the better. It looks like it could. But, let's get into the rest of the reading and see where this is coming from this unhealthy cleaning so we've got this three of pentacles and king of cups for how your person sees you now the three of pentacles is a very positive card in the tarot particularly when it comes to work career questions because when you hear the word pentacles in the tarot that's money cash coins finance but it's overall good card in the tarot. It means you're doing well. It also says that people around you, see how these these uh, two people are below this man and they're looking up to him and they're watching what, he, what he's doing and they're at an awe. They have their mouths open. So people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts and they notice the quality of work you do even if you don't get paid for it. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. Although there could be some room for improvement, but at this time you will not have to scrap something and then start again. Now, this is one of the ways your person sees you. They see you offer benefits to this connection. Yeah, who doesn't want that? Yeah, this could be teamwork or it could be collaboration. They think you are skilled, very skilled. 
Your quality. That's how they see you. Very good quality. They see you in a really good way with the Three of Pentacles. And it's with the King of Cups, which is another good card in the tarot. The King of Cups, it holds... It, well, it speaks of male and female energy. It holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often it indicates the actual person in your life. Usually, when it does represent a person, it's referring to a very kind, very loving type. This person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you are supported by the universe in ways that you can see and in ways that are unseen. Now, the King of Cups, like I said, it's about kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is when this card appears. So nurture yourself, allow others to nurture you. So your person also sees you like the King of Cups, very warm, friendly, and you're very tolerant of them or this connection. But they like that you're very loving and they see you as kind. And you offer benefits. Yeah, some kind of benefits where they they look at you like you're quality. Yeah. Yeah, they like that you are quality. And you're loving. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. You see them like the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Swords, it brings an upbeat, cheerful energy. As you can see in the picture, this man has his one sword in his hand and it looks like he's breezing through the clouds or the, the, or the sky really fast. And he's taking off. If anything gets in his way, he's going to just chop it, up, chop it off and keep going real fast. That's what the Knight of Swords is. It means that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It points to your physical, emotional, spiritual energy at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're going to like what you hear. So it's about a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you're unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. You'll be going after your heart's desire. So this is one of the ways you see them. They're planning to come towards you. They're ready to take action. Yeah, they, this person is coming in. This person wants to be with you. He, they won't let anything get in the way. Nothing. Not with a big sword in his hand. They're coming to sweep you off your feet. That's what the Knight of Swords does. They're charging in. Yeah, so they also see you like... I'm sorry, you also see them. Bob I said that right. You see them as coming in really fast to take action towards you. And you also see them as the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Eight of Pentacles... I hope you can see the picture... I don't have the best lighting here, but let me try to t turn my lamp towards the cards. Yeah, so can you see the picture of uh, the card below where you see them? That's a man, he's working, he's actually working outside. And it's about to become nighttime. And he has no intentions of stopping, even though it's about to become dark. And it's pouring down with rain. Those raindrops are really huge. You probably can't see them, but they're there. So, this Eight of Pentacles, it's showing that uh, you got a lot on your plate that you must accomplish. Yeah, dedication, at the, dedication to the task is going to be important. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. Just know that no one can, and no one can or should work all the time, but the Eight of Pentacles... It's showing a very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be negative, but you have to be prepared for it. So, you see them as wanting to master this connection. Yeah, they enjoy 
working hard to be with you. Yeah, so they're willing to do whatever it takes, day or night, come rain or shine, just to keep this connection going. They're motivated ab about you. They're inspired. And this person is about to reach out to you if they haven't already with this Knight of Swords here. Yep, you may be hearing from them by phone, or they might just... They, this person's this Knight of Swords is very impulsive. They may just come knocking at your door. <laughs> yeah, this person really likes you. They want to work day. They want to work hard, hard day and night. They got a lot of passion for you, Cancer. They're coming in. So let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening due to the Ace of Cups and the Emperor. Now the Ace of Cups is a very powerful card in the tarot. Very powerful. It's relating to love, happiness, affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can, end up, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, goodwill, more than usually at this time. And you'll be feeling really good about life. This is also a great time to make friends. So there's a lot of warmth and deep attraction in this connection or it could be your person towards you. It could go either way. A whole lot of deep attraction and someone could want a new beginning here yeah or either if it's an existing relationship um, it turns for the better it goes to a deeper level of understanding or commitment or any important aspect of a relationship it's, it just gets better Or this is what you or your person is wanting. Now, it's with the Emperor. The Emperor is a very interesting character here on this picture. And as for what he stands for, the Emperor, it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed in. That's what you must think when this card appears. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. And the Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is the time that you'll find it easier to make hard choices. Yeah, so enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Forge ahead, do what you know is best. Because if you can master yourself, then you'll have little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life throws at you. So you're probably asking, so what did I just say? What does that mean? Well, what it means is that the emperor, he does not use his heart. He only uses his head. The emperor does not want to come across as vulnerable. Uh, this person could be a leader, a boss, very arrogant type. It could be a desire for power. But, um, yeah. Someone in this connection is, is uh, they have a hard time showing emotion. If you, I hope you can see the face on this emperor. It's just stone cold. Yeah, very blank. <laughs> very blank. It doesn't say anything. It, 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 I hope you can see it. It's kind of funny. But anyway, the Emperor just, yeah. The Emperor would rather have you die wanting to know about how they feel about you. They don't express emotions when it comes to love. They only use their head, not their heart. 
Yeah, it would be re it would be really hard to get the emperor to open up. So it could be you, Cancer, or your person. But let's recap this reading so that we can get the complete picture. So basically. We got unhealthy clinging here for the present time. We talked about the Four of Pentacles. But then there's some type of rejuvenation here with the Star card. Yeah, rejuvenation, renewal, and there's hope and there's inner clarity. And your person, they see you offering benefits. I don't know, maybe do, do you have a great 401k or a great life insurance policy? Some great benefits. Maybe you're a great lover. And then they see you, uh, like the King of Cups also. You want to offer a cup of love. You're very loving. Kind and compassionate. Yeah, they see you in a really great way. Beautiful. And you see them as they're coming in. You know they're about to knock on your door any day now. Or any, or soon. Or they're coming towards you with something. Because there's a plan here. They're planning to take action. Something they want to do. And nothing's going to get in their way. And they're willing to work day and night. Day and night. Just to master this connection. Beautiful cancer. Now. Your person. They could want a new beginning with you. With this Ace of Cups here. Yeah. They want a new beginning with you. Because they have a lot of warm feelings towards you. And there's a deep attraction with the Ace of Cups coming up here. But they don't know how to let you know. Yeah, they don't want this. Your person doesn't want to come across as vulnerable. So they have a hard time opening up. But they want to, I'm here to tell you, this, this person, they want, they, if, it, if you're in a relationship with this person, they want to take it to the next level. I'm here to tell you, they're not going to tell you this. They want a new beginning with you or Take this, make this to be a new fresh start. But they, they can't tell you though. It's almost like the cat's got their tongue. So, I'm picking up that. This is why we got the unhealthy clinging. If they're not doing this now, your person who can't express themselves or do, doesn't want to come across as vulnerable. It's going to lead to some unhealthy clinging because they can't really tell you how they feel. They don't want to show, they can't show any emotion. They don't, they can't do it. They just can't. So it may lead to some unhealthy clinging. Or you could be doing this to them, unhealthy clinging, because you can't really tell how they feel. So you could be, you could be grasping and clinging on to them trying to get them to express themselves emotionally or like I said this, it could, this could be two uh, storylines here for this uh, unhealthy clinging or it could be them just just clinging on to you in an unhealthy way because they can't express themselves but I'm here to tell you this person really likes you yeah they do they want to put in overtime Whatever kind of work that it takes, yeah, to get, to make this connection work. They'll do it day and night. They won't sleep. And they're coming here really fast. Whenever they try to get to you or whenever you guys are planning to get together, they got, they got things planned and ready to take action and they won't let nothing get in their way. This person really likes you. They want a new beginning with you. But they can't tell you this. Or they can't express themselves. Yeah, they have a hard time dealing with their emotions. So they're, they're gonna, it's going to start to lead to some un unhealthy clinging. Unhealthy cleaning. Yeah. So. You now we got the star card here. It's about rejuvenation. Yeah, so. Maybe once they, maybe once you figure out that this person just doesn't show emotions, that they have a difficult time opening up, maybe it'll bring you some inner clarity. Yeah. So take this as a warning. If you're dealing with someone like, like this that has a hard time 
uh, saying how they feel, they just can't do it. Some people are not good with emotions. Yeah, but this person's got a lot of feelings for you. So um, once you realize this, you probably feel rejuvenated like a star. And it'll give you some inner clarity. And you'll feel more hopeful about this connection. That This star, it only comes about once you realize that that's how this person is. And it's not that they don't have feelings for you. But you just realize that some people are just not good at showing emotions or expressing themselves. Expressing themselves. Expressing themselves. Expressing themselves.